to the restaurant. They'll be here any minute. It's probably not what's left of the outlaws or the shadow platoon. If it's a bunch of new kids in town, they gotta be pretty ballsy to walk right up to my front door. I'm sure they've got the outside surrounded too. Here they come. Let's fight our way out of here. to help me investigate the recent attack. Apparently, we're dealing with an organized crime syndicate known as the Mushin Kai. These guys are professionals. Fearless and cold-blooded contract killers. We've also uncovered that they've got connections that go up to some pretty high places at various corporations. So we know that they are well-financed as well. Looks like we've really kicked the hornet's nest this time. But there's no way I'm going to give in. I want to send them a clear message. We'll show those killers hanging out in Green Hill a world of hurt. Yo, cut 
out-of-towners have moved into the South End. Since they're carrying swords, my guess is that they're not here as tourists. But they're not the Mushin Kai's people either. I recognize them as the Tin Zhao, a group that splintered off from Chinatown some time ago. But it doesn't matter, they're small time. Still, why have they returned? They were led away from Chinatown by... Anyway, now's not the time to worry about that. Get out there and show them how to really use those swords. Goons led by a killer from the Mushin Kai have reared their ugly faces. It looks like they've received my message. Once they figure out that we won't surrender, they'll send their men to force our hand. Well, there's no way we're backing down. I have a feeling this is going to be a bloody war of attrition. We'll figure out our next move after we whack those fools.
seems the Mushi and Kai are taking in all the leftover outlaws who were orphaned after we took care of their boss. We've got to break up their recruitment ring now before they can mobilize. If you take out the Mushi and Kai fighter, the crowd will probably disperse. Dwayne's crew were ambushed downtown. I heard the guys behind the attack are headed towards the Civic Center. They're just puppets of the Mushin Kai, and they won't get away with this. Among the group of attackers was McKinsey. I guess each of the small-time captains are brown-nosing the Mushin Kai bigwigs. Go and take care of those dogs. Make sure you're watching your partner's back. If people see you carrying your wounded partner around the Civic Center, there's gonna be trouble from the cops. The 
Wei Shinkai is using a room in that building as one of their bases of operations. Men brandishing Chinese swords are going in and out of there. Well, just as I thought. The Mu Shinkai and the Tin Zhao are working together. Right now, the Mu Shinkai guys are nowhere to be seen. All that's guarding the building right now are a handful of goons and a couple of heavies. If your partner gets knocked out, you're gonna have a hell of a time getting out of there in one piece when their reinforcements arrive. In other words, make sure your partner doesn't go down. Mushinkai brought along a real beast. His name is Gollum, and he used to be a professional wrestler. His career took a dive when he went overboard and killed his opponent during a match. Ever since then, he's been acting. He was a prize fighter in underground fighting circles. Two of Glenn's boys were beat down pretty badly by Gollum in the industrial district. We've got no choice but to deck this guy right here. The Mushinkai brought along a real beast. His name is Gollum, and he used to be a professional wrestler. His career took a dive when he went overboard and killed his opponent during a match. Ever since then, he's been active as a prize fighter in underground fighting circles. Two of Glenn's boys were beat down pretty badly by Gollum in the industrial district. We've got no choice but to deck this guy right here and now. He's dangerous. So take a backup and be careful.
that's my brother, Lin Fong. So he was back in town. But why now? After all this time? When our father died, I was given control over Chinatown. That didn't sit well with my brother, so he skipped bail. So it seems Lin Fong is the one in charge of the Tin Zhao now. Don't take him on just yet. I'm sure he's got something up his sleeve. We should wait and see what he's up to. One more thing. He's an expert when it comes to swords. Our father was, after all, Chinatown's master swordsman. Seems like Napalm 99 is also reporting to the Mushin Kai now. They put those scumbags in charge of car security. It's a perfect job for a bunch of lowly hoods. This one's an easy job. Go and give those watchdogs a hard time before their masters return.
Mushin Kai are gaining control of the city's underworld. Mackenzie walking together with a Mushin Kai killer confirms that. Well, they can take this city over my dead body. They couldn't pull this off in such a short time unless there's a powerful figure behind their organization. We've got to find out who that is. And then there's dealing with my brother. Leave that one up to me. I'm going to do a little digging of my own. Fong's men have hit Kadonashi Dojo's turf. Kadonashi's disciples are in way over their heads at the Lin Fong's men, so I'm sending you in to bail them out. The Tin Zhao don't appear to be armed, but they are masters of unarmed combat, so watch yourself. Mushin Kai is meeting in their urban district hideout right now. Lucky for us, they've assigned guard duty to a bunch of unarmed nobodies. Now's our chance to strike. Let's see how well they do without their swords.
Chris ran into Napalm 99 when he was patrolling the urban district. Being pumped at the chance to settle an old score, he's probably already kicking ass and taking names. Even so, he might have bitten off more than he can chew. Go and lend him a hand. Fong just entered this building. Hate to ask you this, but I'd like you to tail him and check the place out. Remember, the whole place is enemy territory. If you get spotted, abort the mission and fall back. Just as I suspected, their headquarters is somewhere in this area. They're not gonna let us escape that easily. Gollum's waiting to jump you as you leave the parking lot. And unfortunately, you won't be getting any backup on this one. You're going in solo. We'll figure out our next move once you take care of business.